to everyone here. Well, I'm happy to see you all here today. Now, today's lesson will be based on textbook, page two, page fifty-two, and this is a new unit, which is unit five, with the topic "Let's experimenting" with the theme "Science and Environment." There will be three objectives for the lesson today. The first objective will be. To learn or revise words related to space, medicine, and the environment. Objective two. We shall ask and answer questions about science. And as for the for the third objective, well, we shall learn to write a short dialogue based on one of the subheadings given on page fifty-two. Now let us start our lesson right away. On page fifty-two, this is the unit five. Let's experiment. Here we can see vocabulary and speaking. Now, before that, let's take a look at the little box on the top right corner here. Think about it. In your opinion, what is the best scientific invention? Well, look no further. As you can see, there is this picture of a. Satellite, as you can see, this is a、uh, in space out of the Earth, and there's a satellite here. So with this invention of satellite, information can be passed on from one country to another, and there is no limitation to、uh, border or time. So I would say, satellite is the best scientific invention. But that's for my opinion. What about yours? Here, let's look at exercise one. Read the museum guide, then listen and repeat the words in blue. Let's go through this together. The scientific museum. Explore the world and have fun. Who am I? Find out how your DNA makes you different from other people, and how a scientist would make a clone of you. Wow! Imagine that. So here, let's go to the next one. Food of the future. Millions of people around the world go hungry every day. But are genetically modified crops really the answer? So this is a question that we ask ourselves. As for the next one, journey into space. Experience space in 3D. In our amazing IMAX cinema, travel by spacecraft to the planet Mars and see the view from a satellite flying round the Earth. Wow! Imagine that. Oh well, I would love to visit an IMAX cinema someday. So let's go to the next one. Healthy Earth. Water, wind turbine, and a solar panel make electricity. And see what happens to a battery when you throw it away. Okay, and the last part here would be the secrets of medicine. How does a scientist find a cure for a disease, and how can a vaccine stop you getting ill? Learn the answers to these questions and more. And of course, there is a lot of information that you can find on the internet these days. So find out about. The the meaning of the blue words, and、uh, let's check out the blue words here again. DNA, clone, spacecraft, planet, satellite, genetically modified crops, wind turbine, solar panel, battery. Cure, disease, vaccine. So for the exercise one, I would like you to, to do this in your vocabulary book. So write down the day and the date, right? And、uh, write down, of course, which book that you are doing this exercise from. Pals to unit five, page fifty-two, and vocabulary book. Write、uh, these down with. Eleven 
words and phrase here. All right, words and phrases here. So the first one will be DNA. All right, how to read this? Diosirai, diosirai, how? Diosirai for nucleic acid. Is it difficult to, pr to pronounce it? Let's try again. Deoxyri bonucleic acid. Yes, it's the chemical present at the center of the cells of living things that controls the structure and purpose of each cell and carries genetic information during reproduction. Let's go to two. Clone. What is a clone? It's a plant or animal that has the same genes as the original from which it was produced. Three genetically modified crops well some is called GM crops and these are plants used in agriculture the DNA of which has been modified using genetic engineering methods this could include changing the way the plant grows or making it resistant to a particular disease for spacecraft a vehicle used for travel in space five satellite a device sent up into space to travel around the earth used for collecting information or communicating by radio tele television etc six wind turbine a tall structure with blades that are blown round by the wind and produced power to make electricity seven solar panel a device that changes energy from the sun into electricity 8. Battery, a device that produces electricity to provide power for radios, cars, etc. 9. Cure, to make someone with an illness healthy again. And 10. Disease and illness of people, animals, plants, etc. caused by infection or failure of health rather than by an accident. And 11. A substance that is put into the body of a person or animal to protect them from a disease by causing them to produce antibodies. Yeah, antibodies, which are proteins that fight diseases. Okay, so these are the 11 blue words yeah, in the textbook itself that I would like you to copy down into your vocabulary book. Well, you can actually... Uh, you know, print it out if you want to. I'll send you a copy, and uh, or I will just uh, you know um, type it out in the command or the uh, you know the detail, the video details on the YouTube itself. All right. If you have any question, do give me a message here. Yeah, in the command box. Let's go to the next exercise. go to exercise 2. Let's take a look at the science museum that you are looking at here. There are many sections for a science museum and for these they didn't mention where this science museum is. So there are quite a number of science museums around the world. So one of the science museums that I found is this, the one in London. All right, this is a science museum in London, and uh, what do they offer here would be this. All right, so these are part of uh, the sections that they are offering. Um, they have object gallery, they have IMAX screening, and they also have shop space. So um, these are some of the events, yeah? That they actually offer to the visit to visitors, and uh, the other one that I found would be this, which is Journey to Space 3D, opens at IMAX theaters, and uh, this is a new big screen film documents the progress of NASA's next big adventure. And of course, when you see the word NASA, where can you find this place? Of course, it is in USA. And here, if you happen to visit this uh, IMAX theater, it is this film is actually narrated by actor Patrick Stewart, yeah, of Star Trek fame. Now, 
if you remember him, he was, you know, the captain of the Star Trek fleet. <laughs> okay, so here it is a wonderful film that uh, you can actually find out more from the internet. By the way, yeah, do you know that Malaysia has a national planetarium, which is also a national science center, and it is located in Kuala Lumpur. And these are the pictures that I found on the internet. As you can see, it is magnificent. So where is this place? The national planetarium is the national planetarium of Malaysia. It is a blue dome structure that is situated on top of a hill in the Lake Gardens at Jalan Perdana, Kuala Lumpur. And it is about 120,000 square feet in area. Oh, that's amazing. So if you happen to go to Kuala Lumpur, do pay a visit to this place. Alright, let's come to exercise 2. Exercise 2. Which part of the museum would you like to visit and why? Now, this is my answer and of course, you can always give your own answer. For me, I would say I would love to visit the journey into space. Reason is we do not only get to see the view from a satellite, but it also makes us feel like we are standing inches away from the spacecraft and the satellite. So that is the kind of experience that I would remember for as long as I live. So this is how I answer the questions in exercise 2. If you have a better answer or another part of the museum that you would like to visit, please write it down. And as for exercise 3, alright, so uh, these are the answers. You need to copy and complete the table with the correct words from exercise 1. For space, you can actually find it from the text itself. So this is my answer. Uh, space, spacecraft, planet, satellite. Uh, before that, I would like to tell you that this three, these three, um, well, uh, so-called the title or subheadings, space, medicine, and environment. These are the three subheadings for the exercise. Yeah, for the exercise. All right. So this is what we call subheadings. All right, as for the next one, for subheading medicine, DNA, clone, cure, disease, and vaccine. Right, these are the words that we can find in the text on page 52. And as for the subheading environment, all right, the first, the first phrase, genetically modified crops, wind turbine, solar panel and battery so these are the answers for exercise three as for exercise four all right here what do you want to know about science in the future write one question for each of the three subheadings in exercise three so these are the subheadings well, for example, the example, well, this is the answer given in the textbook itself. Will people live on other planets? So, for the subheading space, I prepared three questions. Well, the question asks for one, right? But for me, I would always want or always like to go further and ask myself questions especially on certain topics that I would like to know more. So the same thing goes in life. Things that you want to find out which is, you know, the, uh, is really beneficial to your life. Go and find out. Go the extra mile of looking up for more information. As for, back to question one here, for subheading space, there are three questions. Question one, which I asked, you know, is there other living beings living on other planets? 
Question two, can human truly able to live on another planet? And question three, will human be able to invent a machine that can transport a person to another planet in a split second? So these are the questions sometimes we can ask ourselves, especially when we are watching a futuristic movie like Star Trek. All right, let's go for subheading two, which is medicine. Another three questions I asked. Well, you have to sometimes be, um, you know, uh, creative in asking questions. Question one, is there any cure for HIV and AIDS? But so far there is none, but there is some kind of uh, medical treatment to, you know, uh, lessen the kind of uh, uh, HIV and AIDS in the body, but the kind of substance of virus, it wouldn't go away. It, there will be some still there, you know, stay there. So let's come to question two. What if there are spare parts of artificial human organs being sold in hospitals? Wow, that would be great if it really happens in the future. I mean, you know, a lot of lives will be saved. So that is the kind of question that sometimes we can ask ourselves. And question three. What are the, you know, the disadvantages of having human clones? Well, right now, uh, we are not supposed to make clones of humans. Yeah, that is, uh, it causes a lot of controversies um, because it has some to do with uh, ethical concerns here. Yeah. All right, let's go to the last subheading, which is environment. Another three questions here. Yeah. Question one. Can we throw away batteries into garbage bags? Two, how do we dispose of the batteries in a proper way? Can we run a car on solar panels? So I will answer these in the next exercise. Coming to exercise 5, ask and answer your questions from exercise 4. And here I will require you to make a short dialogue. There are many questions, of course, you can ask and get from exercise 4 that we have just done. But I would like to focus in on one of the subheadings, which is environment. Let's take a look here. There are two characters, Jen and Ben. So Jen asks, can we throw away batteries into garbage bags? Alright, now, how would Ben answer her? No, I don't think so. Most batteries contain toxic chemicals. If your old batteries end up in a landfill, pollutants like cadmium, lead, lithium, or sulfuric acid can leak out into the environment and contaminate groundwater, damage fragile ecosystems, and even make their way into the food chain. So this is really serious. So we get to know, we need to know how we should dispose the batteries. Now the next questions that Jen asked, how do we dispose of the batteries in a proper way? And Ben answered like this, well in Kuala Lumpur or in KL, we can take them to places that collect pesky items, which is cause, uh, pesky means causing troubles, alright, pesky items like Urban R plus Recycle, IPC Recycling Center, IKEA, The Hive, Community Recycle for Charity, Zuchi Foundation, Teapot Computers, and Battery Man KL. Next question that Jen asked, and that is the last question that she asked actually. What about running a car on solar panels? Is it possible? Ben say, yes, I think so. While solar panel car technology remains inefficient and impractical, we can still power our electric car with the sun if we install a solar panel system on it. So here, that's why I picked this subheading environment because uh, with this conversation, it gives us a, a better idea and uh, knowledge on how we can dispose of the batteries in a proper way. Yeah, so that's it for the exercise for the lesson for today on page 52. If you have any question, please drop me a message. And please take care. Take good care of yourself. Thank you for watching.